comes from behind there is where it was walking is into that thicket I don't see any sign of it Seb I'm afraid maybe we've unfortunately we are sitting on the boundary of Biffleshook so I can't go any closer and that's why I'm having to sit where I am now um, I'm not sure if this particular individual is going to move and come further towards us it will be interesting to see if it does I hope it does it was coming through that thicket there now let's just see so I'm just going to try to go forward slightly because there's a little game path here that it could potentially be walking on and hopefully we'll be able to get some sort of view from here no nope. unfortunately not there's no sign that I can see maybe uh, there we go it's because it's not moving good there Seb so if you look straight through that gap you will see the large mane of a male lion so there we go there's one of our boys I can't tell exactly who it is from here looks like maybe Nena from this distance but it is one of the Birmingham boys and there is another one that is moving from the north coming south towards us so there is another Birmingham boy here as well and hopefully the two of them are going to stand up and move closer to where we are they still way in the distance at the moment they're at the dam and I'm hoping that after that drink he's going to sit for a little bit sun's going to rise and then he's going to start moving southwards towards us that's the hope anyway whether or not it plays out I'm not quite sure but isn't he magnificent you can see that big mane that he's got well, for some reason it almost looks like there's heat haze at the moment there shouldn't be any heat haze at this time of the day given that it's the sun hasn't even risen yet but nonetheless it's still always good to see a big male lion first thing in the morning and hopefully I'm really hoping well there's a little hoopoo in front so an African hoopoo's got a mane of his own, if you so to speak, a little crest on top. And you can see Nena's busy watching the hoopoo. That's very cool. <laughs> now, of course, his distance is being flattened by the camera. That hoopoo is quite far from that line. It's not walking around right near it, and the line couldn't really be asked to go after a hoopoo of that nature, of of that size. It's certainly not going. Chitty chatty Meg, the mains do get darker as they get older, so you found with the Birmingham boys, if you go back on some of our footage and you'll see that when they first arrived here, they were small maned, blonde, and as time has gone on, so they've become dominant, which means their testosterone levels increase, and it causes them to produce more melanin, as well as to grow that hair out around the face. The melanin then causes the mane itself to start to darken up quite a bit, and so previously you were seen in Suku and Nena, both had quite light blonde manes but now there's a bit of darkness creeping in and the patchiness around the throat and back of the head is getting darker and as time goes so that will get blacker and blacker it will never be fully black not like the manes of some of the lions in this world so if you go into the Kalahari their manes tend to be a lot more black our lions here in the Kruger very seldom get deep black manes all round they generally have this mixed mane where there's a bit of blonde and a bit of dark brown black in them as well so they don't get the same sort of looking manes as what the lions in the Kalahari get. They also don't get quite as puffy a mane as what you'd see in East Africa. And then you've got Nsuku which means gold, um, Tinyo which is tooth and then you have Mfumo which is the authority. I think I've gotten that right. Hopefully that's right. I'm sure many of you will remind me if it's not. But I think that's about the gist of it. Now I know it was Brent and James and Jamie were the ones that got all these names together and made sure that they all make sense and are correct. And so I think that's how it is. Of course when I was at Simambili we didn't actually refer to the Birminghams by any names. They were just the Birmingham Coalition and we saw so little of them during last year's period that it actually really didn't kind of ring true to us we didn't have the sightings to even recognize who the individuals were we were just excited every time we managed to see one but over time now since being here starting to kind of recognize who's who and be able to work out what the names are and who what they mean now our line is 
looking majestic and beautiful and is just about to wait for the sun to rise and we, so we're going to spend more time with him and while we do that I believe Scott has got an aerial view of some of lines of his own.